Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in Star Stable and we're gonna go ahead and talk to Syndra. Hi there, you must be one of the new arrivals at New Orleans Stables. I've been coming here for years, so if you have any questions about the area, just ask. I'm Cinder, by the way. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay. I've been coming to Merlon Stables riding camp for so many years that if they had a punch card by now, I'd have earned a free horse. Haha, <laughs> I wish. There's no way Mr. Merlon would just give a horse away. I've been coming to Merlon Stables riding camp for so many years. Yeah, horses aren't cheap. Actually, Danger Kick on second thought. Never mind. <laughs> It's okay. I saved up to buy a horse with my very own. And besides, Mr. Merlin says that he's run out of things to teach me here at the stables. Time to seek out new prosters. Okay. Um, I'll never be the best equestrian I can be if I don't push myself right. Go for it, Sundra. Thanks. That's why I'm on the way to Exotic for Pinta. Have you heard of the place? It's a seaside paradise with rich history and horses galore. They even have a disco. Once I get there, I plan to buy the horses I've always dreamed of. The only thing is, I sort of got lost. I'll give you a lift top on. I thought you were an expert in the art. Well, she can have a lift. You do that for me. Thank you so much. Next stop for Pinta. Right. Well, we can kind of be lazy and call for pickups. So we're going to do that. Right. There we go. Uh, whoa, stop right there. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to get off your horse and come with me. What have I done now? You're in violation of Statute 6046B uh, of the Fort Penta Code of Horsemanship. Was I riding too fast? What's that? Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Let's see in high. That's 7,000 shillings for riding double in a single zone. 3,500 shillings for speeding. Oh, Trasa, this is all my fault. You, you only came here to help me. I'll pay the fines. Haha. <laughs> And a 15,000 uh, uh, shilling fine for attempting transfer fines without authorization. Oh dear, I'll do what I can, but... No buts, 4,000 shillings fine for saying but. Uh... But. <laughs> Don't test me. I can tell I'm dealing with a couple of real troublemakers. You need to report to the Minister of Terrorism at once. He'll know how to deal with you lot. Oh, James. Of course it would be James. There's nobody else it would be. <laughs> right, well, never mind the fact that we're still technically doing what we're not supposed to, but whatever. Let's just go. He doesn't need to know. Right. What is it now? You want to use my track? Sure, go ahead. Be my guest. Oh, wait, no. We're not doing the racetrack. We need to talk to James. The Minister of Tourism, you're looking at him. He's me, James Clydemill. So what So what brings you to the Minister of Tourism? I'm a busy man, you know. These lawbreakers are numerous violations of Fropentus rules and regulations. Is that so? Aren't you a bit young for a Minister of Anything? <laughs> James was appointed by our fair town's beloved Mayor Peanut. You wouldn't dare question the Mayor, would you? Dude, I've got this. Go keep an eye on the disco or something. Sorry, Minister. Of course, Minister. So let me guess. Captain Waterloo over there picked you up on some silly offence. Um, This is a trick, isn't it? Yeah, I don't trust James. Trick? Do I look like a joker to you? Wait, don't blame Drahasava. I'll cover the fines. From what uh, the security guard said, I owe 29,500 shillings. He left off the notarizing fee, so let's just call it an even 50,000. Yeah, I knew James would be this. What? Hey, don't look at me like that. It's the mayor's rules. I'm just a humble civil servant, sworn to uphold them. Yeah, I'm sure you are, James. No, I was hoping to buy a new horse with these savings, but... So you like horses, eh? Then I have just the job for you two. There's a boatload of tourists docking in 15 minutes, and all my rental horses are out to pasture. If those tourists show up and the horses aren't ready, it'll probably ruin their vacations. That's so sad. How can we help? The two of you are going to fetch them for me. I'll even let you ride one back, Cinder. Yippee! I like to let my horses relax close to Ferdinandi's horse market. Okay, technically they're inside Ferdinandi's horse market. Trust me, he and I have an arrangement. My horses are good for his business, so he loves to keep them around. Just get the horses, and if Ferdinandi already says anything, tell them GM sent you. Got it? Collect horses. This is the job I was born to do. What she said. 
Fine, but this seems fishy. <laughs> Bring those horses back here as up, and maybe I can talk to the mayor about reducing your fines. I don't trust GMs at all, because it's GMs, and you never trust GMs. Let's go. Oh, is this why these horses are here? Fine mess. This is the place. Are you ready to take the horses back to GMs? I guess so. It's funny, I've been here so many times and always assumed these horses belonged to Ferdinand and his market. You would have guessed he was borrowing them from GMs. I highly doubt that sometimes. Something tells me James is more of the one doing the borrowing. Really? But he seems so sincere. Hold it right there. What are you doing with those horses? Um, do you know a shitty guy named James Clydemill? <laughs> James, of course I know him. Good kid. I pay uh, him to give my horses exercise. I presume that's why you're here. Go ahead then. Take the horses. Can't have them cooped up in the market all day. Now can I? I knew we could trust James. Let's get these horses back to Form Hidden before the tourists arrive. Hmm. I don't think so. I feel like Ferdinand thinks that it's something else, personally. I don't think um, it is everything that GMs makes it out to be. Come on! Keep going! Right. Come on, come on. I, hurry up. Hurry up! Stop spreading out so much. No, no, don't eat grass. Go on, shoo. Come on! Keep going! Move it! Right. Why are you going down the hill? I didn't want you to go down the hill. Right, come on, come on, come on. This is kind of my art. Move! Go on! Shoo! Clearly none of them are so scared of Octopuppy. Right, come on. Get down the hill. Come on. Let's go. We're not quite there with the rest of you. Of course you would have to go a different way, wouldn't you? You would just be like, no, no, can't stay with the other two. Right, go on, shoo. Shoo, 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 shoo. No. Hey, 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 come back here. Go on. Get around that. These are nearly where you're supposed to be. Right, there we go. Now we've got all the horses. Good timing, the tourists are almost to here. Congratulations, friends, you saved their vacations. So about the fines you owe me. I'm happy to knock off a few hundred shillings from your fines. Of course, when you add the ransom fee for Cinder riding the horseback. Ransom fee? But I thought... Cinder, Cinder, these are rental horses. You ride one, you have to pay um, my very fair rates. I'm sorry, no exceptions. That puts your bill at 92,871 shillings. I can't pay that. Surely there's something you could do to, uh, to lower the fines. Please, Mr. Clyde Mill. Hmm, I suppose you'll just have to work for me until you pay off what you owe. We have a stable that needs tending too, and a race that needs an organizer. If you work for, let's see, 47 years, yeah, yeah, that should be enough to cover your fees. No, this is awful. You're a fraud, James Clinwell. <laughs> fraud? What? You can't talk to me like that. I'm the Minister of Tourism. The mayor put me in charge. Then I'll give this mayor a piece of my mind. <laughs> See the mayor? Fine. But I'm warning you, he's the only one, to, he's not one to be trifled with. Ten minutes later. Okay. Let's see. Make way for Fort Pinta's pride and joy. Mayor Peanut! The mayor is a pony? It talks. It actually talks. I'm slightly terrified. Indeed I am. A talking pony! Oh. Alright, well, Mayor Peanut. Actually, wait a minute, this is GMs we're talking about. I thought so. I th knew it! James, tell me you and your friend owe uh, 92,871 shillings. I demand payment. If you cannot settle your fines, the girl Cinder will be forced to work at the Minister of Tourism and Pleasure until the debt is paid. This all seems very suspicious. I need to find out where James went off to. Yep, that's for sure. Alright, let's find James, because he absolutely is behind this. There's no way he's not. Right. 
Okay, well, he's not here. No. If I was James and I was up to no good, where would I hide? Where would I hide? Hmm. I haven't seen anything yet. Maybe we should go back up again. I think we'll go back up again. Because I have a funny feeling he's probably hidden up in there somewhere. Let's check up here. Alright. I wonder, is that James up here? Nope, he's not here. Well, I'll check anyway. Where is he? He's gotta be here somewhere, Khaleesi, doesn't he? Um, where is he hiding? Hmm. Could be hiding in like the back of the disco. I'll just check. I don't see him, but I'll just check because I wouldn't put it past him. Nope. Um, let's check the stables. It is James, and James is horrifically lazy, so there's a possible chance he's probably just hiding in the stables. Somewhere around here. Alright, let's... Well, I know he's not here, but still need to rule it out. It's not ruled out. Can he be up there? Hmm... It's hardly hiding in the shop itself. Could be up in that other part of the, the castle. Well, not the castle, but the Fort Pinta walls. Hey! Come here. Not in the wall. Alright, let's go. No, Khaleesi, stuck in stuck. Alright, we'll go up and check up this bit. And if he isn't here, maybe he's down on the beach. Khaleesi! Here, ha ha! Find you, James. What? What are you doing here? I know you're scamming for Nanny. The jig is up for you. <laughs> you're scam, Cloud Mill. Scam? That's a bit extreme, don't you think? He pays me to exercise his horses. Tourists pay me for a chance to ride them. Everyone wins. Now, shouldn't you be listening to Mayor Peanut? Um, do you not want to get on? You do not want to get on his bad side. Mayor Peanut is just uh, you speaking to a walkie-talkie. Yep. What? That's crazy! He's a talking pony, it's true! Ask all the people who voted for him! Then why are you holding a walkie-talkie? So can I- so I can tell all the voters about the walkie-talkie. Okay, you're right, please don't tell anyone. It's all I have. It started out so innocently. I put a walkie-talkie and a cute uh, little top hat on a pony and Peanut the talking pony was born. I'd hide in the bushes while Peanut would talk to all the tourists. It was a huge success. Everyone loved Peanut. So when Fort Pinta held elections, I figured why not run Peanut for mayor? I could make a mint-selling Peanut t-shirts. It was all a joke. I didn't think he'd actually win. So when he did win, there was only one thing left for me to do. Admit that you cheated them. <laughs> Tell the truth. And, and give up all that power? Are you crazy? I couldn't let them know he's just a regular pony. I had the newly elected mayor Peanut appoint me Minister of Tourism, and that way I could run things while Peanut lounged around the stables eating hay or whatever. Let Cinder off the hook. She just loves the horses. If you want your secret cap, you better forgive Cinder's fines. <laughs> okay, okay. If you promise not to tell anyone the truth about Mayor Peanut, I'll make things right with her. You have my word. Five minutes later. <laughs> we got him. Cinder. Please, Mayor Peanut. Uh, what have I done to offend you at this time? Right, Cinder. I have misjudged you. I see now that your heart is pure and you love horses more than anyone else in Jorvik. It's true, I do. Silence. Because of your true heart, I'm appointing you Minister of Horses. From this day forth, you will manage the stables in Fort Penta, administer the local races. It would be an honour, Mayor Peanut. Minister of Horses? Imagine that! Just wait till the girls back home hear about this. 
five minutes later. <laughs> so I trust everyone's happy now. I'm keeping my eye on you, GMs. You want to eat? No, 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 no. I don't want to do that just now, Sindra. I appreciate it, but not right now. Um, sorry about the misunderstanding. I see you're cleverer than the typical tourist. Let's stay in touch, Rasava. I have a feeling we're going to make a lot of shillings together. Okay, so the travels of token. Hey, Drahasava, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something serious. It's not a scam. I promise. I will keep my, uh, just my, my suspicions going, James. Have you heard of traveling toy pictures? It's where you take a toy, like plushie or an action figure, and pose it in photos on your vacations as if the toy is traveling on its own. This is Token. He's a dragon. I've had him for as long as I can remember. You know those postcard photos you helped me with before? I was thinking, wouldn't it be a lot more fun if you posed Token in them? Dragons are in right now, right? I'm sure tourists would eat them up. What if I let you borrow Token to take along as you explore the area? If you find any perfect photo ops, pose him for the postcard. Perfect shot. He can be the official traveling toy mascot of Fort Penta. I think it sounds cute. It's not your worst idea. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Then you'll do it? Awesome. To make this work, I need enough shots to fill an album of postcards. I trust you to find the best photo ops in the area. Just make sure Token looks good in the shots. Bring them back when you've completed the album. I promise to make it worth your while. Okay. Take good care of Token now. I trust you'll make him uh, look like the majestic dragon he is. Return to me once you have the pictures. Okay. So we'll have to begin um, looking for Token then. So we've now got the postcard collection. There's a lot of pictures we're going to have to take. A lot of them. So we'll have to get started on that. Anyway, Scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you had a lovely day. And bye!